Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about the, the Valley of Dry Bones and how we um, are being woken up all over the world. You got our people waking up to uh, their true knowledge of who they are. And... Uh, they're realizing that they're the Israelites. They're realizing their true identity, and they're and they're returning to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and realizing that they're um, a special nation and, and a, a special and a peculiar people, and uh, they're becoming alive. All right, they're not spiritually dead anymore. They're spiritually alive. You know, like carnally, you are alive, walking around, eating, sleeping, drinking, things of that nature. You know, but you weren't spiritually alive. You were spiritually dead. But when you found out who you were, the truth, it, was, it set you free. So now you're alive. And now you, you're, you're capable of receiving the truth. And, and, in, and you're capable of enduring to the end now. You know, because now we're, we are all of the hopeful elect. We hope to be of the elect. But we have to endure to the end. But one thing's for sure, we have been awoken, and now we know. So this is uh, Ezekiel 37 and 1. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out of in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which is which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, Yahweh, thou knowest. So can these bones live? Basically saying like, yes, they can. They're capable of living. All right. And. Verse 4, again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord, uh, Yahweh, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. And you know what? I got to get that scripture because uh, I wasn't even going to get that with the spirit. Uh, let me see. Let me grab it. <clears throat> this is, uh, let me see. <clears throat> you know, about that breath. Get a precept on that. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 24. It says, and wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goeth through all things by by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of God and a pure influence flowing from the glory, mm -hmm. the glory of the almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. All right. So that breath is that wisdom and the power of God. So when that breath and wisdom is put in you, it's going to make those dry bones live. It's going to make you alive. All right. Verse five again, Ezekiel 37 and five. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh upon unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. And I will lay uh, sin, sin, sin years. Uh, upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath into you and ye shall live and ye 
shall know I am the Lord Yahweh and and sin in that uh sin you sin you sin you all right is uh basically flesh and muscle it says a piece of tough uh fibrous uh tissue uniting muscle and bone or bone to bone a ten a tendon or ligament all right so that's like the flesh coming together all right coming together and making you a whole all right making you a new person all right so that's what the Lord's going to do when he puts that breath in you, makes you fully alive. All right. It says, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and, be, and behold, a shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone. So there you go. It says, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them behold but there was no breath in them and then said he unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus saith the lord god come from come come from the four winds o breath and breathe unto these slain that they may live so prophesy into the wind meaning everywhere the wherever the wind blows the spirit is the wind it, it carries a, a word all right um to and fro so everywhere the wind is blowing just prophesy which is all over the world all right so prophesy unto the wind all right so i verse 10 so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came unto them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army all right and it says and he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of israel behold uh, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost uh, we are cut off from our parts therefore prophesy and say unto them thus saith lord god behold O my people I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of the graves and bring unto you and bring you unto the land of Israel. So this is basically just the Lord awaking our people up and bringing us home. All right. That's the way to bring us home is to prophesy to our people and wake up our people. All right. To make them whole, to put that breath in them. All right. That's what we are commanded to do. And that's what, um, takes you from being a part of the dry bones unto unto life all right isaiah 58 and 1 cry aloud spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of jacob their sins that's our commandment and what we should be doing we should lift up, lift up our voice like a trumpet and show our people their transgressions all right and show them where they're wrong so we can correct them all right that's what we're supposed to do. All right. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.